Hey guys, Noah here. I'm super stoked. Um, just got to Louisville, Kentucky last night. I'm just checking out of my hotel room right now, and in a couple minutes, I'm going to go meet up with Rich. Um, Rich is the guy who's selling me his brand new 2020 Hobie Tandem Island. Um, it's red, so it's fast. We all know that, and I can't wait. Um, ever since I had the idea to do, the, to do this trip, um, you know, I've been obviously trying to find a boat to do the trip with. And when I finally decided on the type of boat, I obviously just had to then find the boat. Um, and there was a lot of, a lot of these boats on the market, um, majority of them are pretty old. Um, and just due to the nature of the trip and how long I'm going to be on this boat, I decided it would be advantageous for me to spend a little bit more money on a newer boat and hopefully that pays for itself in frustrations and having things break and not having to worry about, you know, any major failures are going to be covered by Hobie's warranty and stuff like that. So I went with the 2020. It's got the new Vantage seats. Um, this specific boat that I'm picking up, it already has trampolines. It's got the turbo fins on the Mirage Drive and comes with two dollies. So it's pretty much everything that I need as far as the boat goes. Um, and I will be modifying it some for my trip. Um, but that's the next step. Right now, I'm gonna go check out the boat, meet Rich. Uh, make sure everything's working and everything's kosher with the boat before we do the transaction. And then I'll be rooftoping it down to Miami to start training for the trip. Now, it's a 200 pound, 18 foot tri hull kayak with an 18 foot takedown mast. So it's a pretty big boat to be putting on the rooftop. And you guys are probably asking me, Noah, why are you rooftoping an 18 foot boat? And the reason for that is it's just way too much hassle dealing with a trailer and having to find a trailer and register a trailer and then traveling across the country with a trailer that I've just bought that's probably secondhand because I'm a cheap person. Um, so rooftopping obviously is a little bit more simple, um, at least in terms of the logistics of the thing. But when it comes down to brass tacks, loading, unloading, it's going to be a bit more difficult. I have designed a system that should allow me to load and unload the boat on the rooftop by myself. I am going to be bumping my truck along with me um, during the trip. So being able to just find a place where I can park it without a trailer is fairly simple. Um, Finding a place that can accommodate it parked for a potentially long period of time with a trailer just now becomes a huge fiasco. So, at the end of the day, that's kind of what has um, enforced my decision here with rooftoping. Um, we'll see how it goes. That's it for now. Um, yeah, thanks for tuning in. Um, and hopefully this goes well. Two. Tight lines.